but it's raining, raining in my heart. Mm -hmm. Holy, holy. Yeah, it is raining in our heart. Today is Thursday. Of is this thing running? Our beloved Anton. Right. Is it? <laughs> Gosh, must have passed me by. <laughs> right. Oh, well, happy birthday, Anton. Beloved Anton. Yeah, and uh, he's always in our heart, and we miss him very, very much. He should have been with us. Today he is becoming three years old and uh, we haven't seen him for a while. Oh. And uh, we are allowed to meet him only three times this year and when I went to see him in January I brought with me Anton's mother, my daughter, and obviously they didn't like that I was helping for the family reunion. So I have been punished by social services of Sweden and I haven't met the boy since January, which is now eight months. For eight months, I hadn't seen Anton Rietons, my grandson. That has been uh, taken by Swedish state at birth from me. And we were so well prepared to take care of him. We were there for him. And we were made into fools by criminal structures, we were lied about and beloved Anton was stolen from us and given away to a Swedish family. Now we will try to call him and uh, maybe that Swedish family will let us talk to him. What do you think? What are the chances? <laughs> One round number? Very round, huh? What do you think of Anton? He looks like a tough guy. He looks like he's got your character. Don't know about that, but he looks like a tough guy. Well, I was a tough guy. Well, I am a tough guy. <laughs> and I will be a tough guy. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know about it. I will be a tough guy. That's, that's going too far. Yeah. It's downhill all the way now, though, for us. I don't think so. I think we will get him in uh, half a year, I think, that's what we'll get. Anton will be given back to and his... Anton probably doesn't want to come here. He's probably all right with dog lady. But uh, this is about his rights to be with his indigenous family. Yeah, but he might not want to have his rights to be with his indigenous family. I mean, I'm not sure that I would. I don't know. So, here it is. Can you bring the camera closer? Hej, hej. Uh, här är det Antons mamma, Ditta. Och uh, vi ringer för att gratulera vår älskade Anton på hans födelsedag. 
Och det vore väldigt underbart ifall han skulle kunna växla några ord på telefon. Så är jag väldigt tacksam ifall ni kan ringa tillbaka på det här numret 0703 999069. För vi saknar honom jättemycket. Och hur ut det här också. Så ifall vi kunde ha ett födelselags kort samtal och det är ju väldigt mänskligt. Och låt gudarna vara med, vår älskade Anton. Och bistå honom i allt han gör. Och må gudarna är med er alla i allt ni har för er. Och vi älskar er. Och tusen tack. Och ha det så underbart. So that was it. So was well, he didn't exactly say no. He didn't say no, but we... He just said, just at the answer, but that's all. <clears throat> you have to lose the legs. Well, they should have been set up already, I don't understand. You have to do it like that. This is mine anyway, so... I never liked it. Yeah. Which is ridiculous. Yeah. Bought, anyway. It on eBay. Yeah. But it is a very uh, strong thing. It, it's really good. It's wompy, but it's uh, useful. I don't understand why, why they made it like that. It's just some mad, mad guy's idea of a. Of a yeah. uh, we are talking about the tripod under the video camera. That's what we're talking about. <laughs> because we are in such a pain about Anton. That's right, we can't think about it. We it's can't all, talk about it. It's all too much. All we can talk about is tripod. Yeah. I it's mean, just you know, awful, really. Yeah, I mean, just you wait till this happens to you. That's all you talk about is tripods. It'll be like... Uh, displacement activity, you see. Yeah. Because the pain that has grown through these three years, oh. it's just... It's just uh, unbearable. I just sort of brush it over with black brush to cover it up, not to be in my face every day. What you have to do, what you have to do is you take the paint and you put it in a box and you shut the lid. Then you tie a purple ribbon around it and do a knot and then you put it on the shelf. That doesn't work so easily. It works for me. Yeah. In fact, the shelf that I've got with all the paint in it is about to pull out of the wall because it's got so much of the boxes on it. <laughs> crash on the ground, all the boxes will open, the pain will just fly out of them, and it will go down my throat, woo, 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 like that, and I'll go bang! That'll be it, okay? Then I'll be finished. No, you won't. I will take care of you. I will take care the of you. The pain's in those boxes, look, there they are. Because they're bobbing, the boxes are kind of you know, twitching. Boiling up. <laughs> and twitching and in the shelves. If you listen very carefully, you can hear the pain speaking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So That's called magical thinking, incidentally. It's 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 a it's a characteristic of mad people. It's also a characteristic of very great people, but then most very great people are mad. Except so it me. is with except, except me. With beautiful geniuses like we are, <laughs> but. Um, we will have our anthem back. We shall all be free someday. And we will raise him into an indigenous king that he was born to be. 
And we are the holy couple that can give him that legacy. Dear Christopher and dear Dita. <laughs> Surely. <laughs> okay, I'm done. In bear. You will be with us. Maybe he doesn't want to. <laughs> yes, he wants.